Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we are going to be setting up a VNC on a headless Ubuntu system. Now if you've ever um, gone into Ubuntu, you notice that under your settings you have a sharing option and here you can enable VNC. And this works well if you have a computer monitor attached to your computer um, and then you're away from it and you want to uh, connect to your machine. However, you find that the minute you unplug a monitor from your desktop that you're no longer able to connect to the system. Well, if you find yourself in this situation, this is your solution. So for demonstrating this, I've uh, got a Ubuntu uh, uh, installation set up here, Ubuntu uh, 20.04 in VirtualBox. Now there are some limitations here because I've got this set up in VirtualBox and not on physical hardware, but the configuration here is the same as what you would find uh, for a physical desktop computer. Okay, so this is a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04 and this is the minimal install so it doesn't come with uh, all the extra applications that you would get with Ubuntu normally such as the Office Suite and uh, uh, image editors. So to get this done, uh, because this is the minimal install, we need to install a few things. So we're going sudo apt-get install and you want to install Vino. If you've already got uh, the full version of Ubuntu installed, you can just skip this install here. And we'll just go yes for that one there. Okay, so Vino is installed now. Next step is to install sudo apt uh, and then we're going install and we're going x server xorg video dummy i will paste the links to the configuration script which we need next in the description the next thing we need to do is edit the following configuration file so it's sudo nano and then we're doing etsy x11 and then we're creating a configuration folder uh, file within here which is to do with the Vino server. So we're doing xorg and we're going to call it dummy.crnf and this file name it can really be called anything that you like. So the configuration script which I'm going to paste in here I'm getting from uh, the reference website that I use so this is the configuration script which we're pasting in. You can see that it's uh, setting up the monitor here. Uh, it's setting uh, some horizontal and vert vertical refresh uh, sync rates there. It's uh, giving it a base resolution here. And uh, it has, yeah, it's identifying the dummy driver that we just installed in the last step. Uh, it's uh, setting aside some video RAM there as well. Um, the screen number and it only has a single mode of 1920 by 1080. All right, so I've copied that to the clipboard, pasted that one in, control X and save. So we just need to go to settings now and enable sharing before we reboot. And we go to the sharing option here. And we're going to turn on sharing, set a password to connect. Okay, a password is set there. And now we just need to do a reboot. Well, before that, I'll just do IP ADDR so I can find out its IP address and connect back to this machine. And now we just need to do a shutdown. And now, sudo shutdown now. So that's restarting. And once this restarts, I'm just going to minimize that one there. And I'll open up uh, Vermina, which is the VNC client that I use to connect to machines. All right, so I've just got my VNC client open here now. I'm just waiting for that machine to turn back on. Okay, so it looks like we have VNC access now. And I can connect to the machine. Now, because this is still in VirtualBox, it's... Uh, doesn't exactly enable you to disconnect a screen from the virtual machine but the configurations I have made here are exactly the same for physical hardware um, that you may be uh, configuring to use VNC without an external monitor. 
Now, one of the things I do have set up in here, one of the limitations that appears to be with the VNC and sharing is that uh, you need to at least be logged into the machine to begin with. Here, my user profile set to automatically log on, and then it will lock after its default time anyway. Um, but uh, by letting your account log in, it means that your VNC settings will be applied and will work on the system and allow you to log in remotely. So one of the things I didn't mention in that video when I was using a VNC connection was that it was still only at that 4 to 3 resolution. And this is because VirtualBox had its display connected to the virtual machine that I was on. However, if this was a physical box that you had made this configuration change on and you had disconnected the monitor, you would have found that you would be getting 1920 by 1080 for your VNC resolution. I didn't mention this in the video, I forgot to mention it, but trust me, it does work and I have tested it on a physical box. Um, so if this video has been helpful to you, please like this video and uh, if you'd like to see more videos, subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.